Hey everybody, so today is the last finale, so to say, update on my Project Pam for 2018. Um, if you've been watching my Project Pam, you know that I've had a lot of used up uh, products this year, and uh, we're gonna clean it up and go through what's remaining and weed through it and perhaps clean it up a little bit. Certain products will travel into the next year with me uh, for Project Pam. A lot of them won't, <laughs> but a lot of them will as well. So let's see what we have here. Let's start with the uh, MAC cream color bases. I have it in Shell and in Luna. I found that I do enjoy RMS Beauty formulas a little bit more, although the color selection is obviously not as great as in MAC. In MAC, you can basically found, find any color in cream color bases. I really like the little um, compact, so that is going to stay, but the two cream color bases have been with me for about two years, and well, cream products shouldn't last that long. So I am actually getting rid of both of these cream color bases just based on the longevity, meaning that I I just want to move them out of my collection because they are I think they're expired. <laughs> there, there's no funky smell or textural change, but it's time, so it's gone. Then we have a Nude by Nature uh, Translucent Loose Finishing Powder. This is a powder that I've been uh, showing you last update. I think I was maybe a quarter way through it now I'm about halfway through the little package and the, the larger packaging the full-size packaging actually very good It has one of those cool mesh sifters, which really uh, mod Modulates the amount of powder that you're able to use up at any particular time I really like the the uh, packaging for the full size and I might repurchase this This is a really good smoothing powder. This is not oil controlling So if you have oily skin, I would say this is definitely a finishing powder as it is named the finishing powder But you can use it as a setting powder and I especially like rolling it in with a powder puff um, If you have normal to dry skin and it's really really smoothing has this light diffusing effect It's not in any way shimmer. It's a matte powder, but um, it has a very natural finish. You can't really see it on skin, which is what I'm looking for when I'm purchasing a powder. So this one's definitely going to stay in my collection and is going to probably migrate to the next year's Project Pan because I do think that this is a fantastic product. I really enjoy it. And it's on the cleaner side of beauty products, which I appreciate as well. If you watch my channel, you know that I have a special weakness um, uh, for clean, cleaner, non-toxic, organic, etc. beauty products. Then a uh, brow product that I've been using a lot. This is the Brow Pomade in Medium Brown from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And you can see that I've definitely scooped to the bottom at this point. I've used it quite a bit. There's so much product in here. This is very economical, financially economical product to purchase because it's just, there's a lot in here and you don't need a lot to do your brows. Today, it's on me. So you can do a pretty natural brow with it. You can do... Uh, a more defined, heavier brow if you want, like maybe a statement look. <laughs> so you can do a lot with this, and then this is water resistant or waterproof, but I think it's water resistant, therefore really, really long wearing. I love this product, it's really, really good. Um, I am finding cleaner alternatives as well, and we'll talk about them also, but this product will stay as well because it's just, it's really great. Then I have another product that is going to be gone <laughs> from my collection. This is Lee Swatier. Uh, Ombre Velour Supreme in Top Velour. This is a cream eyeshadow, matte cream eyeshadow, and one of my favorite colors, this kind of like taupey mushroomy brown, gray brown. Um, and I've reached pan on it, which is great. Um, I do enjoy reaching pan in my products. This, however, it unfortunately is just too, it's just too old as well. It's two years old. It's time to get rid of it. It's a good formula. I would recommend you purchase from Lee Swatier if you're looking for um, for some cream shadows. They do have a very nice selection of glittery, shimmery, wet looking and matte shadows. Um, and I really enjoyed the product, but it's time to let it go. So that one's out. Um, another product that is about to be out is uh, Nude by Nature eye pencil. This one has a smudger. It has this lovely property of being able to be applied as a like sort of a wing liner or a defined liner, but also it's very smudgeable for a limited amount of time. So you can smudge it and then it sets or you apply it and it sets. Either way, it's it has this period of time where you can move it around and smudge it up and create whatever diffuse look that you want to create. And then it sets and then it doesn't move and it doesn't budge. This particular liner has been on me for about over 12 hours at this point and it's wearing really nicely um, so I'm really impressed with this one I would repurchase it actually 
Um, I also like the Physician's Formula eyeliners, and probably if I was to recommend drugstore eyeliner, it's going to be this one and the Physician's Formula ones. Um, they're just the best that I've seen from the drugstore, and uh, Physician's Formula is probably a little bit cheaper, but they do come in trios, so you are committing to three colors instead of just one. Um, here, the dark brown, I like the color, I like the shade, I like the texture of it. Everything about this product is actually very nice. And then we have this Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. If you are watching this channel, you know I love Buxom lip glosses. They're just really great texture. Um, they're supposed to be plumping, but really they're more cooling than plumping. Um, they do work very well at smoothing out every line that you have on your lips, which I enjoy. Um, and I'm, as you can see, a little bit down from my previous marking. I've enjoyed this kind of a lip gloss for a long time. I've used up multiple colors before. White Russian is a good color if you like that milky look on the lips. I used to love that look, but now I'm kind of cooled, cooling off from that look. Um, it's not my super, super favorite. I think I prefer something a little bit juicier on the lips, but it's just a question of what you like at this particular moment because I used to be really, really, really into those milky glosses for a while. I think I'm going to use it up with no issues, so it's definitely going to stay. A product that is getting... Uh, excluded or <laughs> I'm done with it's this by beauty uh, matte cream lip crayon in amaretto and this is a peachy peachy slightly pinky color that I use on my cheeks and on my lips and I'm actually out of it as you can see it's completely empty and I already have another one of these uh, in the exact same color and formula so it is very good for those monochromatic quick looks um, however, it's not my favorite for the lips. I really like it when I'm doing ent an entire look with this particular color. Um, and I do recommend these, obviously. I've purchased them so much in the recent years. Um, another by Beauty product is High Pigment Lip Pencil in Pomegranate. This one I use, but you need just so very little. It's very pigmented. It's one of those really bright red colors, which I really, really enjoy. I always have a red on hand. And I think it's a great formula. Um, it isn't as easy to use on cheeks as well as lips because it's much more, much more of a creamy formula. The high pigment lip pencils, and they're really truly high pigment. If you want something more multitasking, I would go with the matte formula, but if you really enjoy creamy lip products, then, then um, this is really good too. I enjoy it, I use it all the time. I think it's very wearable and I will keep it. Another product that I will keep is my purse lipstick, and it is Guerlain Kiss Kiss, Kiss Lipstick in Coral Dantel 362. It's a nice, semi-sheer, glossy lipstick, I, which is the exact formula that I really, really love. Um, the formula on this one remind, does remind me of uh, Rouge Coco Shines, but this is the slippier, more glossy Kiss Kiss lipstick. Uh, it's Kiss Kiss Strauss. Um, Really, really beautiful color, easy to pull off. It comes across much more bright than it actually is because it is very sheer, but you can build it up if you want more color, no problem whatsoever. It's just a good lipstick and very easy to use. I'm definitely gonna keep it in my purse. Then we have um, uh, Fresh Sugar in Rosé. This is their tinted lip balm. I've been wearing these for years and this one is almost out. So obviously I'm keeping it and it's probably gonna be one of the first products I completely finish up in 2019. Um, so I'm going to keep track of the things I finish up and do a project pan obviously in 2019 as well. So it's going to be pretty easy for me to compare how I do year to year. I did a good amount of damage in my makeup collection in 2018. I'm happy with it. Um, and out of all of the things that I that I finished off with in terms of my project pan, the cream color bases from MAC are going. The Lee Swatier Shadow is going because it's just a, the, these two are expired and then we have the by beauty pencil that I finished So these uh, three products are actually gone from my collection at this point The rest of them most of them are probably I'm going to continue using in the new year, especially I'm assuming that these three are going to be done fairly soon as well as the gloss probably these four products are going to be the first to go within my next project pan for 2019. I am very happy with my progress. I'm happy with how this went. In general, project pan went well in 2018 for me. And I hope you try project pan as well. That's it for today. See you later. Have fun. Have a good time. Bye-bye. See you in the new year.